Welcome back troglodytes to your daily dose of guitar information, the Troglies Guitar Show. We've got a bunch of fun unboxing to do today. Looks like three guitars, a sponsored unboxing and a little package. Let's go ahead and start with this one. I'm a little bit scared to open it because, ah, uh, wasn't that a very nice way of UPS to deliver this box? Now, despite this thing looking like a double wall box, it's just a single wall, so I'm sure it's fine, but something just punctured the side of it somehow. But I find whenever something like that happens, it's usually because there's too much dead space within the box. And in this case, I can definitely tell they packed it well. But you can see right there, there is nothing there to protect the box, so I'm sure we'll be okay. But this is a brand of guitar that I don't believe I've had on the channel before. But I think you guys are gonna like it. Very similar to a brand that I've recently been given a lot more attention to on my channel. But I have to wait to tell you more until I get it unboxed. They definitely did a nice job packing this up. So this is a rather large case, like a bass guitar would potentially fit in this one, isn't it? Did I buy another bass? Well, I'm gonna spoil it for you guys. No, I didn't buy a bass, but I bought like the next closest thing to that in guitar format. Ah, it's that Antigua color I was telling you guys to look out for in the last unboxing episode. So this is an Antigua Baritone Jazz Master, and it's not actually a Fender, it's a Squire, and I swear, this is probably one of the most expensive Squire guitars out there on the used market. It is a heavy beast, wow. This body is way heavier than I was ever expecting. But I've always been intrigued by this model ever since I found out about it, I would say about four months ago. But the problem is they would show up and sell within 20 minutes and I kept missing out and it was annoying me. So I just eventually broke down and paid someone's asking price as soon as I saw this one show up because it said it was mint condition. And I think the reason why people like these is they later on did a blackout version, but this one has the cool Antigua finish. You either love it or you hate it, and I love it. And pairing that with a baritone guitar, I don't even care that it's a Squire. This thing is just infinitely cool. So definitely stay tuned for this one. It's gonna be fun. And our second unboxing here is our sponsored unboxing. Let me know how you guys feel about these. I like doing the sponsored unboxings as the second unboxing. That way you're not opening up the whole episode as like an advertisement. But before we unbox this, we need to choose our winner. And the prize up for grabs this time is actually quite valuable. It's worth around 150 bucks. And it's the Mellow Audio MIDI Commander. So we put our link in, see how many people entered this one, and now we choose our winner. Congratulations. If you have an email listed on your account, I'm going to email you there or I'll reply to your comment with more. Well, isn't that just funny? There were two John Clarks in the comments section. The first John Clark doesn't claim his prize. Other John Clark, if you're within the US or Canada, you'll be the next winner. You have three days to get back to me. And unfortunately, the winner of our straps did not claim their prize within three days. So now I'm going to my mailing list. And here is our winner for those. But for the item that's up for giveaway and information today is a repeat sponsor from Kahaya. You know, the guys that keep sending us gig bags, they're kind of cool. They've been nice and padded. I've been able to use them in shipping guitars lately. But the one that they've given us today, they call it the Bohemian style. It's, <laughs> it's kind of interesting. It's super multicolored here. Honestly, it looks a little bit better in person than I was expecting. But we'll go ahead and get it out of the bag to take a closer look at it. These things are on Amazon. I think they're slightly under $40. But if you want to carry your bag around in style, <laughs> this is definitely one way to do that. I always like how they pack their gig bags inside of each other. That saves them a lot in shipping costs. 
switch over to our nice camera here so we can see all the intricate colors on this thing. It's got an interesting vibe to it. I don't know if I would personally choose this one, but I can definitely see how certain people would like it. I guess what's new about this model is they've added the zippered pouches on the outside. So I think there was a cheaper like version one that did not have these. But other than that, this one is very similar to the last gig bag that we looked at by them. They just got a little bit of padding in here. You've got some shock absorbers down here and the uh, neck rest that most of these guys have. You can remove this, but as far as moving it, it doesn't look like you have other areas to. Honestly, I think I like their super padded gig bag better than this one. And you definitely have ample storage room in here for stuff if you need it. So if you're interested in winning one of these, all you have to do is leave a comment on this video. Check out the Amazon link in the description for this item and tell me in your comment what your favorite thing is. And unfortunately, these ones are limited to the US only, so end your comment US. And if you'd like to be on my list of backup winners, you can subscribe to my weekly newsletter that I send out on Sundays by visiting troglisguitarshow.com. It's just at the bottom of the page, or it'll show up on the side of your screen after five seconds. Two down, three to go. Let's go with this small one. There's actually a, a fun little story behind this. I actually lost this package. It was delivered like two months ago. And for some reason, I thought it was sitting on my stairs and I went to look for it one day because somebody was looking for this item that's in here. And I was like, oh, I, I don't know where it went. But when I was cleaning this room, it wasn't actually in this one. It was in the room back there. I, I found it. So I thought eh, we might as well unbox this after a couple of months. So I was on Reverb one night and somebody was selling vintage knobs at a good price. I always buy these because you never know when you're gonna need 70s, 80s speed knobs. These ones have a really nice yellowed age tint to them. Whenever I sell these things, it's always a hundred bucks for a set. I mean, you can get them cheaper, but it's so hard to source these things anymore because, you know, people have already parted out all the cheap guitars. It's like, I just keep these in my parts drawer. Because again, it's expensive to replace these when you need them. So I'd rather just have a whole drawer full of parts. <laughs> but if you need a set, you can always contact me. Sometimes I have what you need. But now it's time to move on to the main feature of today's episode. This guitar, I think you guys are gonna like. One of these days I need to get around to actually reviewing it because I bought this guitar for somebody. It's not like a gift, it's just a deal that we had worked out before. Because I'm kind of in a very interesting position with the job I do. Unboxing guitars and reviewing them is since it's my business to do this, I actually don't get charged sales tax because I'm reselling them. So sometimes if you're in the market for a brand new guitar, if you'd rather pay me some money instead of the tax man, we can get around that because I'm a relatively small business. I don't have to charge it myself when I sell it privately. And on top of that, since I buy so much, I can usually actually get you guys an even better deal than you would be offered. After getting in touch with my tax lady with all this stuff, it definitely opened up some cool opportunities for new guitars. But this is a brand new guitar from Guitar Center. It was a Guitar Center exclusive. And I'm absolutely flabbergasted that they would use a material like this brand new. That's interesting. That's some pretty heavy duty foam stuff. It could almost be acoustic foam if you just put it on the wall. I'm sure there's some differences between that and this. But hey, nice little packing job here. And you can see that they use the uh, water activated tape. But inside here, oh, congrats on selecting this fine quality instrument. Never seen that before. That's a nice little touch, Guitar Center. Normally, I wouldn't really consider buying from Guitar Center, but recently I started working with a guy with Musician's Friend, and they can actually help you with Guitar Center orders too. So that kind of worked out. Oh, look at this. You guys need to tell me if this is a special case, but to me, it looks like a special case. I've never seen a Fender the case that looks like this. But this was a limited edition that Fender did, I believe, in honor of Black Friday. And I was actually able to get a little bit more information from Fender themselves on this. So I'll share that in the full review and demo. But this looks cool. Black with this nice pale color. You got cool chrome hardware here. 
Fender logo, all that. But what is inside this mysterious Fender case? <laughs> wow, this is the Pale Moon Telecaster. This looks fantastic in person. So the big special thing about this guitar is the Pale Moon Ebony fretboard. And wow, that is streaky. It reminds me of a cloud over the sky. It's like a pale moon. And then you get this beautiful quilt top veneer on here. Man, this looks cool, especially this black pick guard. So I'm gonna get on the review and demo of this one as soon as possible. I'm hoping tomorrow, but you know, I'm having my third child tomorrow, so I can't make any promises. It might be a little bit rough for our upload schedule the next couple of days, but I'm gonna do my best to keep content out while supporting my family at the same time. This is gonna be a bunch of fun. Fender's Black Friday Pale Moon. And then there was one lonely unboxing left. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't remember what's in this one, so I can't really lead you up with any stories, but I can not say that it was packed atrociously. Listen to this. There is no padding in this at all. So it's very likely it was jostled around in shipping. And no, I did not buy it from Chicago Music Exchange. Somebody just redid this box. When Chicago sends their stuff out, they pack it with that brown craft paper. So that's how you could tell that it wasn't their pack job. Yeah, see, they tried, but what they needed was uh, more padding on this side to keep it stabilized within the case. But at least they had some padding on the top, so that's not too bad. Um, apparently this is another fender. Oh, this is embarrassing. I. <laughs> I don't buy that many fenders. I don't even remember what's in this thing. So let's just get into it. There's something in this modern day fender case. Oh, oh wow. This got here fast. I just bought this like a day or two ago. This is another one from the, the Parallel Universe. I believe that's the one. I always get that one confused with alternate reality, but I think parallels the USA versions. But this is the Stratocaster mixed with a Jaguar with an extra middle pickup. <laughs> Man, I fell in love with this thing because it's just so darn goofy looking. So you've got a Stratocaster body, right? But you have all the controls of a Jaguar and yeah. <laughs> I like this thing because from behind it just looks fine. And I actually really dig this cherry red finish. It's nice and sparkly. Looks like we have a very small chip through the paint right there. Maybe that's just a small ding. But yeah, we've got another unwanted guitar that we can throw into the unwanted guitars pile. But yeah, this one popped up. I think it was on reverb for about 20 minutes. It's just like, yeah, why not? Might as well. We're doing all the other ones eventually, right? That's gonna do it for our unboxings this week. I think we only have one boxing to do. So let's go ahead and get on to that. But this was my video consignment piece. It was definitely a lot of fun to get to check out this Orville by Gibson guitar. So definitely check out that full review and demo if you happen to have missed it. It was definitely an eye-opening experience and I'm glad I had the opportunity in order to check one of these things out. Cause now when people start talking about Orville by Gibsons or Orvilles, I've got a better understanding of what they're talking about. About. I think the next time I try one of these things out, I'll probably go for like one of those 59 reissues because some of those are absolutely beautiful. And I think that's what people are really talking up on the internet. But they're a little bit more expensive than I would like to spend because you could get the real Gibson counterpart half the time. So maybe they are just that good when they're at the absolute top tier of what they can be. Thank you, Troglodytes, for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed these boxing and unboxings, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.